Hey, we're going to make some cool cards with some block ink and some lino cuts. So, first of all we need an image to transfer to our lino. So the way we transfer this is, first we draw our image, we turn it over, and we make sure that we outline where that image was on the other side. So what we're going to do is add some pastel to the back of this, and we're just going to colour in this square in order to be able to transfer it to our piece of lino. Pretty simple, just scrub it in fairly thick until it's all covered and this will act as a medium to transfer. So place the lino down and just turn over our image again. Now the important thing here is to make sure that we've got the lino plate lined up with the image. Once we're confident that that's where it is, we can start with a biro and I start in one corner and just start heavily and firmly and draw over the line work that's there. So we're just redrawing our image and pressing firmly through the paper. So you'll see that if we lift this off, that image will have transferred to the lino plate. So you can see here we have a white image where the chalk's been transferred to the lino. So the next thing we need to do is to actually carve out all of that line work. So using a carving tool, just go over all the lines that were there. You can change the shape of the tool if you want to, but I'm using a fairly sharp pointed one. Now don't worry at this stage if some of the lines that you peel out are a little bit messy. You don't have to be overly neat. And see here if it looks like you're getting a bit lost. Don't panic because you'll be surprised at how well it still will print. So that's the end stage of making our plate in order to print. Then what we need is somewhere to mix up our ink. I've just got a tile. We need our lino plate, a palette knife, a roller, some inks, some card and some transparent plastic. So I've got a card underneath the plastic and this is just working as a template. You'll see in a minute. Place some ink out onto a tile. Now it's important that we move the ink around the tile so that there's an even coverage. Once the ink becomes quite even across the plate, it'll start to sound different. So it'll make a sort of a tacky sound. So as you're rolling down, you'll hear it and you'll also feel it you'll notice that the ink doesn't squash around the plate now, but is stuck to the plate and stuck to the roller. So place the lino down and gently roll. What we need to do is make sure that a decent amount of ink has been delivered to our lino plate. So once we're happy that the lino plate is completely covered, we can then place it on top of our template. Then we get our card. Now at this point it's also important to make sure that we remember to check which side we want as the front of the card. So double check that. We place that face down onto the tile. Now at this point open the card and gently rub the lino against the card. What'll the, what this will do is help transfer that ink to the card. So if we peel it from here and we can see that that ink is really stuck there, lift it off. And there we have it. There's our first card. So just going to repeat this process now and you can have a look at the results for yourself.
Now although we've just used white ink, let's swap colours and we'll try a couple of cards with some black ink. So you can see here we've made ourselves an array of cards here using just black and white ink and three colours of card. So have a little play for yourself. It's only limited by your imagination. 